This top one is the most difficult of the three. You gotta have a tall ladder and nerves of steel. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our off-grid homestead that we are building from scratch here in North Idaho. In this video, we are going to be renovating our solar system back here. We're gonna be adding a bunch of solar panels to it and have 30 solar panels to hopefully power our off-grid home this winter so that we don't have to run the generator at all. But I will keep you up to date on that and let you know throughout the winter whether or not we're having to add supplemental power from the generator. So the plan is we are gonna continue this mount over to this post right here and we're gonna add nine solar panels from here to here which is gonna require moving these ones over and taking these ones down. The ones that we're gonna be taking down were actually the first panels that we ever had here on the homestead. Their smaller panels are only 250 watts each. Our new ones are almost 400 watts each. And so we're gonna be, we're gonna be filling in this section right here and moving these guys down. It's gonna be a little bit of work. Let's get started. We've got all of the old solar panels down. You can get a pretty good idea of how we mount them up there. Now we're gonna extend this pipe whoosh, all the way over to there so we can start mounting the new panels up and then whoosh, shift everything else down that way so that we all fit the way they're supposed to. We're using one and a half inch galvanized pipe. It needs to be about mm, 12 feet long. So we've got a 10 foot piece here and we also have this two foot piece that was actually left over from a tether ball, a tether ball pole. So we're going to go ahead and connect these guys together here with this cool coupling. And hopefully then it'll be long enough. We have another 10 foot piece, but we're hoping not to have to use it because they're $60 each. Pipe wrenches, tighten that up. Hopefully that'll be long enough. A little shout out to our friends in Indonesia. If you guys aren't aware, we lived in Indonesia for almost 10 years and uh, it's fun to see things that are made in Indonesia like this pipe. A couple things that we miss from Indonesia, of course, are our friends over there, but also the food, man. Oh, the food is delicious, especially the fried rice. Indonesian fried rice is like no other fried rice in the world. So shout out to my friends there in Indonesia. If you're watching from Indonesia, let me know down in the comments below because I love to see how many of you guys are still watching. Run with the heart, run through the hills, deep in the place where secrets reveal. Right. Set this up home. on top of here for you. A feeling home. Flowers they bloom, bloom in the soul. I know I'm there. We've got our hole drilled through the pipe. We're going to use one of these long timber lock screws to mount it right to the face of the beam here. This tape measure is just about dead. Broken in half right there. So it's, uh, it doesn't like to play along very well. But we're gonna be cutting our metal here. We're making a special little bracket that goes inside. I'll show you how that works once we get it, once we get it made. And uh, we're gonna be cutting with the power of the sun. Even though we took down half of our solar panels almost, we're still gonna be running off batteries. Kick off your shoes, turn off and lose today. Got nothing to lose and you sure can use the brain. There's no better time to clear your mind and watch the clouds. Done busted her. Wow. So shake off the blues, it's all in the moves you make. Hey, hey. Everything is gonna work. We're using these angle pieces right here to act like a shelf 
and hold the panel, hold the first panel up. Since three of our panels are just under 10 feet, we can just use one piece of Unistrut to uh, mount it all up. But anyway, we're using the little bolts that slide up and down here, makes it super easy for connecting it all together. We just take this guy and we line it up right on the bottom, flush with the bottom. And then that'll give us uh, a good anchor to set these things on. Makes it a lot easier so you don't have to hold it while you're trying to get all the bolts in. Pretty good, but we're off just a little bit. So first, we're just gonna make sure that these guys are plumb. Since our level isn't level, we're gonna go ahead and lower this side just a little bit. Can you watch the bubble guys? Tell me when we're level. Come on. Come on. That's good. All right. So now we're level. Both of them are plumb. We can set our first panel up there and get the screws in. It's just being supported by these guys. Jules is putting in a bolt in the back just loosely so that if we need to, we can move these because setting it up here kind of usually gets them a little bit out of plumb. She'll get that one in. Then I'll go around and get the other two on this side in. Then we can make sure everything's good before we set the next one on top of this one. We're just using quarter inch bolts here. And we're going in the back side through the holes that are like pre-punched into the solar panel. And just get them finger tight at first. Get them all finger tight. In case we need to adjust something, we don't have to loosen them back up again to adjust it. And they're not gonna fall off. Now we gotta move over to the big ladder. A little wobbly. It's upside down, inside out. I know that some ways I'm out. Right. Panel number two is on. These are our older panels, and they're a little bit smaller than the nine that we just put up. I mean, just a little bit. A little bit less wattage too. But we're gonna have 30 panels. I'm gonna calculate how many watts we're, we've got later after we get them all up. And then we'll actually check how much we're producing and see, man, we're gonna have so much power, I think. Hopefully this winter, we will not have to run that generator anymore. We'll see though. I'll keep you updated. This top one is the most difficult of the three. You gotta have a tall ladder and nerves of steel. <laughs> Not really, but it is the most difficult one. I met you in the sun, saw my plans come undone, cause I knew you were the one. So we, we finally got all of the panels up in place. We need to put the fasteners on the very top of the panels up there, so we take a big ladder to the other side and do those ones. And then we can start wiring them up in series. And then, man, we'll see how much power we're making. Oh, I think it's gonna be a lot. Wow. All kinds of fun stuff in here. Marty? Yeah. Check these out. They're lures. Oh, wow. They look like fishing lures. <laughs> Those are awesome. <laughs> I bet they are fishing lures. Ooh, meat. We got chickens and lamb and beef, rabbits. Check out the pickles, man. $15. That's cool. Are they dill? Um, I would assume they're dill. It looks like dill in there. Let's see what we got here. We got, we got beans, whole beans. Wow, those look good. Raw whole milk, kefir, goat's milk. Ah, this are our friend's tea. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. Yep. 
So this is the Deep Creek farm stand here, and it's all on your honor system. You couldn't get away with this in California. Jules, people yeah. would just be walking out with everything. They do it anyway, Aww. even when it's illegal. You gotta have more faith in people. <laughs> I'm just saying what we see in the news. This place though is awesome because the people here are awesome. You can have an honor-based store with nobody here to watch it. And I think Jules, we ought to get this guy right here. Yeah, I actually have cash. This big, fat, heavy sourdough loaf. So I think what we do is take the tag. Yep. And then here's instructions over here. It says, please include tag with your payment. So this is $9. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're gonna just secure it like this so that we make sure it stays together. And slip it in. Cool. I like supporting local places. And this is beautiful, look at that. Oh, the day I met you, I think I met myself. I don't ever wanna be with anyone else. We got the kind of story that the stories would tell. Different than I've ever felt. Everything is wired up and working beautifully. Let's go check out the back side of the panels here and I'll show you how clean it is. This is like the cleanest I've ever done it. This is the permanent installation. And so finally it's, it's done. I mean like it's really done. Crews over there from the far side, come along this way. So that is 30 panels. And it's uh, 10,070 watts. You can see we're using the Unistrut here, comes up, connected with an exhaust clamp up here, goes up to there. Each of the panels is screwed on or bolted on with the Unistrut right inside of there. Four bolts per panel. This is one and a half inch pipe with some homemade brackets right up there that we built. You can see those in a earlier video if you want to go ahead and watch that. These six panels right here all run in series, connecting down, wires right here coming down. These nine panels right here, those are all run in series as well. So that we've got one series of panels, two series of panels. Notice here we've got our wires connected, running down like that coming all the way down this way. And then we've got nine panels right here, all wired in series. That's our second set of pan or our third set of panels. And then we've got six right here, all wired in series. That's our last set of panels there. It's actually one, two, three, four. That's the way they're numbered. All of the wires run down here, come down to this pole. They wrap around, they come inside. We've got our breakers in here two, three, and four. Number one right here, we're short a breaker. So we're just got them connected up there with MC4 connectors for right now until that breaker comes in. Then we'll be able to hook that breaker up. So I guess it's not technically 100% done, but it's super close to 100%. Cables go into this conduit. They go under the ground and over to our solar shed. Cruise on inside the solar shed here, show you what we got going on and how much power we're making. So wires come up, charge controller, charge controller. It's actually like four charge controllers. There's two charge controllers in each one of those boxes. And they'll do 450 volts, 100 amps each. So we can charge with a total of 200 amps coming from the solar panels going into the charger. We've got like 10,000 watts of power out there. And right now we're generating 8,989 watts. We got 308 watts of load in the house and we're charging at 8,638 watts. So we're doing really good, right? And like I said, this is rated for, let me just check my, check my board here. All right, so string one is 2,070 watts. String two is 3,105 watts. String three is 3,065 watts. And then string four, which is made up of two different types of panels, is 2,010 watts for a total of, oh, 10,750. 10,750 watts. I mean, but look at it. It's perfect sun, perfectly blue sky. The panels are tilted properly and we're still only making about 9,000 watts. So we're short on what the numbers are. That's because those numbers are like lab perfect conditions. You are almost never going to see the rated amount of wattage on your panels 
compared to what you actually have. That's why we only got about 9,000 watts coming in, even though the conditions couldn't be more perfect right now. So if you're new here and you haven't seen our off-grid solar system, I'll just go over it briefly here. I will make another video in a week or two, kind of go in detail over our whole system. But basically we've got 16 batteries right here. We've got two charge controllers, really four charge controllers in there. We've got our two inverters that are giving us uh, 240 volts of power feeding the house. Yeah, I mean, that's the basics of it, guys. Where's Jules, by the way? Well, she is actually at a ladies' day with the church. Our congregation has hosted an area-wide ladies' day. That's what she's doing right now. And, uh, you know, if you're ever in the area, or if you live in the area, you are always welcome to come to church with us. I and mean, there is a link down in the description below. There's a QR code on the screen. Come to church, worship with us. It's fun. It's, uh, it's a great time. We've got a great family of people there. You'll be totally welcome. I'd love to see you there. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. We hope you have a really great day. And keep smiling.